Aurora. Thank you for the sub. Good afternoon. Leave the 300 bits, Ravens. Stream got delayed by so much this time, bro. Whatever. how much I've talked in Gang Public. What is this? I'm trying to figure out what I'm looking at here. What are these statistics? Here we are. Thank you so much for the sub. You'll, put, you'll explain. Okay, what are we looking at here? We got files. It's going to send links in vids and streams. Oh, what? Uh, Interesting. Very interesting. So it's like when I'm talking in... <sighs> I'm gonna have to do the laundry if you want me to do that. So let me keep that on the back burner because I don't have one at the moment. I forgot there was even a thing that could happen. Just look up like Snowgrave Deltarune. 500, 500,000 points is crazy. Have a look. Sunday is the most. Do you know why? Specifically, I sent them at night. This is interesting. I like stats. You can see exactly when I stopped uploading uh, weekly. Very interesting. If I ever edited a message? No, it looks like I have not. Emoji? <laughs> I've used 13 joy emojis. That's funny. Okay. Why do I choose the stream directly before the eclipse? The eclipse doesn't start at like until like two, I think. When does the eclipse start? I'll look it up. I'll, I'll I'm a new stream and I. I thought it didn't start until like one. Yeah, it doesn't start until two. How sad. Look at you being so wrong. This is embarrassing. Any new? Oh, what? I don't, nope, I'm not going down that rabbit hole. What is this? New extreme. This looks cool. Oh, I don't have the thing. LOL! Three stream watch streak. Nice! Uh, this is cool. Can I just like fold send these? That's the biggest problem with platformer, I think. You can't just like, there's nothing you can like full send. You gotta be so. Uh, careful about like everything you do. You know. I think I have to rebind for frustration because it's two player. I mean, that's not a problem. I I have I have things set up. Veneer, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it.
And if by the chance one of the people who sub when I was offline, thank you. Really appreciate it. We'll make it work, chat. We'll make it happen. That was probably not my best decision I've ever made. Yeah, I knew that was coming. The the dash ropes are difficult because you keep moving after you hit the ground. Like unless you stop directly in place. Science flower, they give a gift sub. There we go, that's what we needed. Ball low. Melee sucks, sadly. I've heard good things about it, though. I watch good videos about it anyway. Right, I need to slow down. The thing about balls, it's so tempting to just super speed run through it. But, like, this, I mean, it really just rewards patience. If you slow down, you probably won't die. But the problem is, I don't always want to slow down. I just want to go, 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 go. Oh, not melee the game. UFO? The shader effect's a little jarring. I don't know. This gameplay's kind of boring, though, because it's just like these like lines. Like you go up these like lines. You know what I mean? Does anyone understand me? Hey, it's this song. I did shave. I just forgot to the past like few times I showered. I just forgot to with them. I just didn't. I just didn't bother. in chat? I don't think so. I ain't seen him. This is fun enough, though. Coin? I'll get your coin. Why not, right? Oops, I almost made a really bad error there. I'm still gonna make it, I think. Yep. Actually, it's just kind of hard. Thank you, Dark Swift. Signfire, thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. Okay. Okay. I'll put one more. How's my camera improved? So I just cleaned it. <laughs> That's literally all I did is I just cleaned it. Oh, what? Sidebar, thank you for the gift sub. What do I want here? I just feel like I'm just like guessing what it wants me to do here. Oh, okay. I probably should turn on particles for this one. <laughs> I probably shouldn't get randomly flung to the sides. That's bad. That's what I think of the gift sub. It's pretty cool. It's like a dropper. You gonna play those on Minecraft? Thank you, Majestic. What do you guys? Yeah. What, what do you guys think of the video? I just uploaded it. 
Oh, I didn't just upload it. Been almost a day now. I guess. It just it just flings me too far, man. It flings me too far. Thanks. I, th I figured you guys would like it because it's kind of a breath of fresh air for me. Or like, maybe that's not the right way to say it. But it's like, I ha is that why it's like the funniest line of the whole thing? I, like, I, I, was, I was laughing about that for like an extra like 30 minutes after I watched it back. <laughs> is that why? I, I don't know. Uh, that, that line delivery had me weak, man. Okay. Can I say? Yeah, the thing is, you didn't see. There was quite a lot of bickering and arguing because it was like hard. It's hard to get everyone together, man. And that's the hard part. And then because everyone's got to like spend. Because we're all like, you know, everyone that's in that video is an adult, you know, like. Uh, everyone's an adult, and it's hard to get a bunch of adults. To play at the same time. Well, we're, I'm in practice mode, so. Oh, wait, no, there, that is a way. There's a thing you can do that. What did I do? No, I didn't do anything. I think they just misread the description. <laughs> Or like one person did and then other people are going along with it. <laughs> That's my guess. Yeah. Anyway, I was talking about something. What was it about? I don't know. All right, the video. Right, yeah, there's not gonna be a lot. I don't know if we're gonna be doing that again. I mean, maybe, but maybe with less people. I think it'd be fun also. Uh, me and Tech might do a video where we play like something hard with just the two of us, as opposed to like a big group of people. That's probably the next I don't think I don't know if I'm gonna do like a like a mega thing again like that at least not for a while maybe again but like you must understand that's a lot of lot of scheduling and coordination I think it literally only worked because we did it like we just got like really lucky with the timing of people not having school for spring break and everything Uh, well, I've never played from the beginning, really. Like, from the beginning, my best is, like, 30%. But, uh, I did a run from, like, 20% to, like, 80%. That's probably my best run. If we're gonna put it into percentages. But, like, the first, like, the last 20% is, like, auto. I just died at, like, the last part. Yeah, that's all fine and everything, but we don't know what level really we want to play yet. So, definitely still open to suggestions. We can do something, I think it'd be cool to do something kind of hard. But that's like kind of up to him, I feel like. Yeah, we'll definitely on this. This is actually one of the easiest levels ever made. The could have been so low death link. That's that'd be crazy.
I don't know. I'm trying to even think of like what would be a good level. When we were, when me, that group of people that I did the future Link video with, for the most part, are the kind of people that like, uh, like whenever I talk about going on these like bigger, when I go to these, these bigger hangouts, usually it's like that group of people. We almost made a video where we did like what we did for Bloodbath, but instead of Bloodbath, we did it for Artificial Ascent, but we got too lazy. There wasn't enough interest. Old Yada Deathlink, thank you, yeah. With under CSX. actually easy as hell. XO. Mm. I'm just singing cause it's over. One, two, three. Finnesis. Thank you for the sub. Nenesis. Finny Nenesis. That's my best guess. Thank you for the sub. Really? That's kind of interesting. Dark Odyssey. I still haven't played it. Like, I think I was like, there was one show I was like going through Jonathan levels, and like, I opened that. But I, I like I haven't I don't know if I've ever like done a practice one. I don't even know what it looks like. Is it just like like Dark Travel V2? Like in terms of like difficulty and gameplay, or like is it literally like the same gameplay but harder? There's like no feeling in my right ring finger today. It's so annoying. To, again, slept on it or something. The temperature is hot. Like 74 and anything above that, I would say. Obviously other factors contribute, but... No. I think 74 degrees Celsius is like, that's a good bit of the way to water boiling, you know? Still a little bit to go, but. <clears throat> you know. What is 74 in Fahrenheit? Like 160 or something? Maybe for like decent shower temperature. What is it? Does someone tell me? Fine, Jesus Christ, 74 C2 Fahrenheit. You're all useless. I was right. Not a single real person on my chat, bro.
You're all bots. You're not Google? What? Ugh. Y'all fake to me. Nah, yeah. I need to re-invite feeling to my hand, but there's no way to do it. Raising steam. Why do you care about numbers so much? Live in the moment. Yeah, it's not bad. Ah, oh, the stupid spike jump. It's got me again, huh? I'm so late, bro. Mine ant. No, but I saw one today. Dude, I killed a horse fly today. That was in my in my uh, house, and I don't know how it got here. It was like huge, man. Yeah. Which is crazy. I don't know. I don't have any windows open or anything. It was huge, man. It was huge. Gigantic. Right? Like, how does it... Dude, I don't know. I, I walked out into the into the kitchen, right? And I was like... I was listening to some songs. I was... I, just, that I look at the window. Gigantic fly. I'm like, what the hell? And I, I like, stopped the music. I was like, no. This, this has to go now. So I just... Took a paper towel and just, uh, you know. The good thing is, with the bigger, bigger things have a uh, longer reaction time. So, with the big ones, you are kind of able to just, uh, you know what I mean. But still, it was like, damn. They do it bigger at boxes, yeah. Yeah, you know, it's crazy. Cats have us like a super fast reaction. I'm probably one of the fastest in the in the animal kingdom, if I had to guess. Because it's like I'm talking like 20 milliseconds for their size, which is crazy if you think about it. Yeah, anything but normal flies are pretty chill. Normal flies can, I mean, they can literally be a problem for days. Like, you'll never find them. You'll just randomly hear them flying on you, like, oh, oh my god, and then you start, like, like frantically swinging around, just hoping you, like, win the lottery or something. Yeah. You have a lower reaction time, not that impressive. Oh, okay. Cats don't make sense. They have behaviors that aren't logical to me. Over here. This is just not wanting to cooperate with me, man. I don't know how to do it well. Like, uh... Bam Biggins, think of the sub. I don't know, this jump is such a pain in my ass, man. It's so... You can't just walk up to it and just do it. That's the... And then if you try to... You can if you, like, barely graze the ceiling, of course. But, like, full jumping from here, you'll always die. If I, like, graze the ceiling, sometimes I don't, but it's still, like, risky. Am I in track for partner plus? I am at the moment. I've got about 80 to 90 sub points on day eight. So I'm just on track. You do need momentum, yeah, that's the whole point of this exercise here. Uh. 
Either that's not gonna happen. This jump is so evil in ways you can't even understand. I don't know, honestly, I should just do it. I am out, because like, yeah. How do you guys think I'm supposed to get feeling back into my hand? Every time this happens, I'm like, is it finally over? Did I do it? But like, I don't think that's what's ever happening. You know what I mean? Cause there's never like pain associated with it. I think I'm probably pre-diabetic though, which is probably gonna cause some issues. Such as numbness and tingling in limbs. Or at least my whole family has diabetes, so. And like the type one type. This jump is not cooperating today. Funky Ghost, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. I need to stop. I need to literally just stop clicking on Parrot Stream. So that's what I need to do. Because every time I click on a, par a Parrot Stream, something is happening. And it continues happening for an, like an unrealistically long time. Like every time I click on it. It's just, it's not a good link to click on. If I want to maximize the use of my time. <laughs> like. <laughs> It literally delays, it delayed me by an hour today. An actual hour, because I clicked on it and Parrot was at like SMOT 7 or something. Like that's crazy. Thank you, Funky Ghost. Appreciate it. Look, you just do it. it. Literally, it's that simple. Don't even overthink it. Just do it. I found a new way to practice Japanese, by the way. I found out uh, that you can like, you know how you can do like text to speech on your phone? You can do that in other languages too. So I'm like trying to like say things to the text to speech and see if it actually does what I'm saying. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's actually a really good way to practice. language learning cheat. I think I'm almost to the point where I want to start like playing games in like Japanese, right? Like replaying like like RPGs and stuff like that in Japanese so that I can uh, get more practice. Number one or two guess correctly. Uh, we're going big two because no one ever goes one and that's what you're thinking also. Which is a fair, fair thing to think. Two's the default. Why wouldn't I go two? Yep, there we go. Anyway, let's the verb. I love randomly guessing a 50-50 and then coming up with an overly pretentious, like, rationale on why I picked it. That's one of my favorite things to do, like, ever. Like, I was doing- I literally did that, like, five times in the limbo video. It was, like, ridiculously fun. <laughs> to, just, to just guess and then make up some bullshit as to why it's true. That's, like, the most fun I can have in the world, I think. Nanso Kiyama, thank you for the sub. 
Dude, the limbo you had a lot of that. Not even gonna lie to you. Yeah, I knew. See, the problem is my health is not gonna permit me to do a subathon anytime soon. That's just how it is. As good of an idea as that sounds, I don't think that's an option. No, what? No! Kai Walla, thank you for the raid. What do you mean, what would happen if space you take? That's a nothing question. I missed the Lurb offer. One, two, or three? Ah. Oh. No! One, two, or three? My brain is like playing chess, but all the outcomes are bullcrap. Like they're based on assumptions that don't. I I'm also thinking it's two. My brain also I'm gonna I'm gonna lock in two here. Yeah. It's got it's gotta be two. It's not three. Origami King, thank you for the sub. Thank you for the- Oh, that's what it was! Oh, it is. oh wait, no, I actually- Oh, I got it right? Let's go! Wait, was, was, was two the number I actually, I actually was thinking of? It, it did, Origami King, thank you. Thank you for the two gift subs, Lord. No, 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 no. Okay, here's why it's two. I'll, I'll explain why it's two. Okay, so first of all, we just did, we just did um, the two one thing, right? Where I went to. So the precedent's been set. It's probably not going to be two again. But even outside of that, it's not going to be three because pff, I mean I'm not, I don't need to explain why it's not three, right? And then one feels just a little bit too like we need to switch it up so it's something different. So two is the rational conclusion to go next. Baby pug, thank you for the sub. Yeah, it's called, like, Guess the Number. No worries, I'm a Kiwi. And no one's got to apologize if you can't sub. I appreciate you guys even thinking about it. You know. Yo, Funky Ghost, thank you for the Tier 3. That goes, that adds, like, 6,000 points. Thank you. Hey, we're making, we're making good progress today. I don't know why it doesn't make the noise, but thank you. Hey, good good progress, everyone. This is this is good. This is this is what we needed right here. This is this is huge. Ugh! It does, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, gifting doesn't work for it because who knows why. How's my last day? It's going, it's, it's, all right, it's all right. I'm waiting for the sun to wipe everything out and the ball, uh, you know, the woke Biden vaccine microchip rapture. But it's fine. Yeah, I should listen to anything else that isn't this. Also, my hand won't go, dude. I swear to God. You're always recommending me the OST you know I won't, will never listen to. Or maybe not never, but I just won't play the game. That's why I need to do a subathon. So that I can have an excuse to like actually play games as opposed to just... Because every time I'm just like chilling, I'm like, I don't want to play a game. I want to play a game. You know what I mean? Do you think the people that like think that the world's gonna end during the eclipse are gonna like start like freaking out when it gets colder double or nothing we what what do you mean double or nothing 
I can't. I I can't give you back the two. <laughs> no, it's not four. It's not four. One to five. I'm going one. I'm going one on this one. Nah, I don't think it's three. I think it's one. It's not two. It's not two. No, it was, it was actually four. Ah, the seven rule. I tried to avoid the seven rule. Damn it. But sometimes adhering to the seven rule is the plan. What is the seven rule? It's a term that I just made up that means when the human the human brain has like the tendency to like go to the middle and then find the point between the middle and the end. Or the middle and the beginning. Like seven and three are the most common random numbers. I think Veritasium did a video on that, but like we know that forever. I mean that that's just like basic human number psychology. But in my brain, I was like, I don't want to do the seven rule. I, I feel like I never do the seven rule. And that's kind of like a weak point in my psychology. Because I'm always like, it can't be that one. Or like, I wouldn't do it, so therefore it can't be. <sighs> 5G towers. God. I know there's nothing actually wrong with my hand because I can grip perfectly fine and there's no pain in my thumb. It just, like, I guess it just happens sometimes. Oh, that's so smart. Uh, I mean, if you if you really want to, to win, you just, like, yeah, random number generator removes the... Uh, Remove me from being able to make it happen. You're finally awake early. Oh, oh. We are pretty bad at generating random numbers. I'm gonna put on some music because I don't want to listen to this song anymore. Uh... Mad Mad, thank you for the sub. Appreciate it, man. Ugh, this, dude, this. These two fingers, they don't, it's not even, it's so like subtle. I'm just getting trolled by them right now. I need a s music. I need a music. Amori, Amori. I did get, I did get bad. RNG on the whole finger thing. What? Like, why is this even a thing right now? It probably doesn't matter at all. Because, like, the thing with, like, actual hand injuries is, like, it's not just, like, a random thing that happens. You don't just wake up and it's like, oh, my hand is injured. You know? It's usually like you ignored it for months. There it is. I referenced that noise about five seconds ago. My foot in the air. That'll help me, yeah. You're pretty smart, actually. I'm impressed with you. Nice. Uh, I kind of stopped at the Grandmaster Hall because I'm a loser. Girly, I'll think of the raid. How you doing? 
I did, well, it's not that I couldn't do it, it's because I didn't try it. I'm sure I could do it. I'm doing all right. I'm excited for the eclipse. I'm in, I'm in the path, so I'm just kind of waiting on that. Thinking about that a lot. What were you up to? What are you playing? Yeah, but the thing about I mean, not spring collab. The thing about Charmer Jam is they're all like like tech spammy. All right, it's just Celeste in general right now. World Abyss. Yeah, that's where we got 80% of the way to doing that. And that's like, I have to go on vacation for a week. Like, okay, man. And then that's the last time I play. <laughs> um, we talked about that the other day. I'm thinking we shouldn't use it for, for platformer. Uh, because the way the platformer gets consistent is like oftentimes you'll have a jump that has a setup and then you have like three it'll be like three frames on 240 to do a jump or something like that you know what i mean um the thing with click between frames is it would pretty much make everything inconsistent to some degree uh for platformers specifically because of the way that setups work and celeste the reason why nothing's really that hard in celeste in terms of precision is because it's 60 fps which you would think because there's um because of the fact that there's less precision, it'd be harder, but it's not actually true. Um, because you can stop and set things up and move when you're ready, as opposed to just consistently having to move across the screen, you can set stuff up so it's a lot easier. And platformer mode, uh, as it currently stands, is really difficult uh, because it's 240 TPS, which means that you can have one frame 240 TPS timings, or like you can have specific like seven frame uh, and it, it's difficult. It's really tough, right? Um, but that being said, right, uh, if you remove it that entirely, there's no more setups. There's no more consistent, this is what's going to happen situations, which I think would make it really tough. I think it's really good for a normal GD, though. But that's, that's my... That's kind of like a broad guess. I haven't been able to try it for platformer because every time I enable it, it disables my platformer controls, like entirely, like the arrow keys no longer work. So I haven't actually been able to try it yet. It's just bugged right now, but I will definitely get back to you. I will let you know. No, I think if you're left-handed, you should be sent to the prison camps. Because you're obviously, like, not holy, I would say. Or at least that's my personal opinion on the matter. Well, yeah, especially him. I think Celeste kind of like um stop being interesting to me when things like when i got to a certain skill level that precision no longer became a thing because i think precision is what i really enjoy about those kinds of games or platformers in general i'm not really interested in in tech in celeste tech So I think it's more likely that either I find something really long to do a Celeste Golden on, or I um, get into like needle games. Like uh, I want to be the guy fan games. I don't know. I always mess that up now. But yeah, I'm really only interested in precision. 
to be completely honest with you. Yeah, and that was a lot of strawberry jam, which is why I really didn't care for it that much in terms of like, uh... <laughs> wow, that one was bad. I don't know if you guys could hear how bad that one was. That's spring for you right there. Jesus. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Heartburn is crazy. I was like walking around and I just all of a sudden it felt like this stone appeared in my left rib. Like this morning, it was really bad. Heartburn is a bitch. God, stupid jump. I want to nerf it so bad. I might. Just because it's such a pain in the ass. Ruining all my runs, man. Allergy to apples is wild. I wonder what my body needs right now. Because it's not just my, my feet are really tingly too. So my limbs in general are just kind of tingly. So something must be wrong, right? Or something must be, but I don't feel malnourished. I actually feel rather well nourished. Could it really just be spring allergies making body weak? I doubt it. And vitamin B12, maybe. I think vitamin deficiency is the most likely of possible things that need to be fixed. Right? Like, I can imagine being allergic to cheese. Ugh. Yeah. I need the something. Maybe I do need to eat more veggies. My fruit intake is pretty solid, but I think my veggie my veggies intake is kind of lacking. Yeah, but I would add subs into the mix and like pizza. None of these things are have veggies in them though. Well, I mean, I guess shawarma rolls have some. They have like the onions on the side. Michael, thank you for the sub. I think it also doesn't help that I feel really hot right now. I doubt that that. Is it, yeah, it's like, apparently it's like 77 degrees in my room. That's also probably drawing away heat from my uh, extremities. Let me turn off my heat. Pierogies are awesome, yeah. The motor control doesn't really feel that bad today either, so I'm not really sure why my limbs are all shaky. You can tell it took me a second to get is that why too. <laughs> I think that's what made it so funny also. Like it took a second.
That's definitely the funniest line in the whole thing. <laughs> How would I even know if I have a vitamin deficiency? Like, what, what would I even, like, can I get like a blood test done or something? Yeah, three words is able to, to make all of that happen. I love that about language. Nice. That's how you end up with like a chubby movie right there. And the server I sent you in DMs. I'm not gonna join a server you sent me in DMs. Whatever that server may be. Yeah, is the way that the way they talk about it, I would recommend never opening it ever. That's my that's my advice for you, and that's my advice for me too, which is why I haven't opened it. Uh, I don't I don't need to be sucked into there. You know what I mean? Like I I have a life. I need to remain having one for now. It does, yeah. Um, I wouldn't say I have a, a good idea. I haven't played Clash Ruby that much. I played it enough to where I almost got to checkpoint one. I in like two K attempts, which is still way harder than I missed, but it's just luck based, I think. Wow, what? Uh, also, someone asked what I meant by arrow ace. A romantic asexual. It means that I don't like anyone. Er, it's weird. I've tried to categorize how I feel about it all many times, but it's difficult. Favorite cereal? I don't know. I like like Honey Nut Cheerios a lot. Like if for if I'm being just completely real. I guess the best way I can describe being asexual is like I don't think people are necessarily unappealing to look at, but looking at anyone naked is like gross to me. Like I really just don't want to see it, I guess. That's my best, that's my best like uh, way I can describe it. I think. Cool. good at this game like what oh, I'm getting sloppy or like I'm getting like complacent you know what I mean you do a, you do a run enough times you're just like whatever it'll probably, it'll probably happen and it kind of does sometimes but damn it no I don't like Doritos well okay I like them but I don't like clean up clean up clean up everybody do your share I don't remember the rest of it.
Everybody everywhere. I remember that. How much is 100k bits? Well, if 100 bits is $1, 100k bits is $1,000. God, for someone who's planning to be a math teacher, I am like hilariously slow <laughs> at any mental math. All I had to do with this one was remove zeros. And I still had to like sit here and think about it, but it's fine. It'll keep the chat. It'll, chat. It'll keep the classroom entertained though, because like I'll be teaching like a complex thing. I'll turn around and be like, "Guys, what's nine plus seven? The chat, stop, stop! I already apologized. I already apologized. It'll happen." I, I don't think I can teach children, man. I've read horror stories recently, man. Like horror stories. Kids these days, which is a crazy thing to start a sentence with, but like I've heard insane things, man. I think empathy is at an all time low. And look, we can we can argue if it's just like the older generation always thinks the newer generation is weirder, but I think there's something actually weird in there. I really do. I think that because you could say, oh, TV, oh, this, oh, this, but it was never like this. But it wasn't. We talked about this before, but has it really been like this before? Like with the with people being on iPads all the time, stuff like TikTok. Stuff like a lot of these streamers and people are watching. Has it ever really been like this? Because at least when I was a kid, right? Kind of the scandalous stuff that I would watch occasionally would be like Markiplier, right? Because he would swear sometimes. It's so, like, that's tame now. You know what I mean? Like, compared to the people are watching insane things at ages where I didn't even know, like, it's, ugh, it's crazy. Markiplier was like the only glimpse I ever really got of the internet before I was allowed on it myself. So there's a soft spot for me. Just because my friend would always like be like, hey, I know you can't watch YouTube, but I you gotta check out this Markiplier video. Because he was really into Markiplier, and then we'd always watch some Markiplier videos. <laughs> and he was playing stuff like uh I remember watching like this one like octopus game or something. I don't know what the hell it was actually called, but there was this, there was this like, he had to like get stripped from like one place to another. It was like the worst controls ever made. It was really, really funny to watch. Mm -hmm. I guess that's the name of it. There was something there was something really funny about watching Mark try to like control a game that was not meant to be controlled. You know what I mean? Just like something some really some real trash. That toast bread game or whatever is another good example. But I, I mean, I don't know. At least when I was a kid, that's kind of what life was, you know? It's just stuff like that. And then you get home and play on the Wii. There was no TikTok <laughs> or like, I mean, there was social media, but even back then the idea was kind of like keep children off of it. Got home and played New Super Mario Bros. Wii with my brother, you know?
Oh, cool. I remember, I've always done this thing where like my friends, I always have like a group of like two or three friends. Like I have like friends, but like, I've always been the kind of person that I've really ever like linked with two or three people at a time. Cause that's just, I don't know. That's just how I am, I guess. I guess some people are just kind of like that. And the group of three I had at the time, I remember this, I remember this one day I got home from school. It was a terrible day, man. It was like, a, it was one of the worst days. I, I remember like, I just, something really bad happened at school. I don't remember when you get older, you know, you, you don't remember what happened. You just remember like the emotions you felt. I just know it was a really, really bad day. Right. And my parents knew that. So I remember one day I came home and I was like, oh, this is so miserable. And my two best friends at the time just like rushed down the stairs and like, they were like, surprise. And then in the other room, there was like a pizza and uh, a new Wii Sports Resort was on the TV. And that was peak to me. I was so happy. They were like, yeah, I still think about some, I, I still think about that sometimes. Wii Sports Resort is so cool, dude. Like when I, when I really think about what made life so great back then, because every period is something I think that makes life great. You know what I mean? Even if there's bad stuff to it. Looking back, I often only just remember the good times. You know what I mean? Or at the very least, it's like the stuff I like focus on more. Every time has its, I, and I think that's that period for me. I was very, we were all pretty innocent. I think as everyone kind of was. And uh, I don't know. That's really all I ever wanted back then. Yeah. I'm worried I did like violently change the way I think about life. Ugh. Oh, my stupid limbs. Why are we so pins and needly today? I definitely have to, yeah, I'm definitely going vitamin deficiency on this one. It's gotta be. Legit. Although, I also think my room being 77 degrees probably is like one of the actual real factors to that. I feel like the body kind of, like... I don't know, whenever it gets really hot or really cold, it kind of like messes with the limbs a little bit. Seventy-seven is really hot for a room. I just had my heat on for too long because I forgot to turn it off before I went to sleep. Kind of vitamin bong go to the ER. Just be like, yeah, I already did it. So just watch me and we'll see. Yeah, that's why I don't live in Arizona. <laughs> That's why my parents lived in Arizona for a while. They would always get mad at me whenever I complained about the heat because they lived there. And I was like, they were like, you know what? There was 110, Nathan. And I was like, well, I, I wasn't there. I was in the womb, bro. Like 126. Ugh, 126. Lol. <laughs> I, I feel the same. <laughs> These clouds gotta go. Yeah, the eclipse starts at 2. 
I'll be long gone before that happens. Gonna take a walk somewhere. I don't know. Nice. It's okay. The thing about the, the sleep schedule is like, I guess it doesn't really change anything for me. You know, I can't really go outside much anyway. I think a lot of people, um, their like enjoyment of life is kind of attached to when they go to sleep and wake up. But it never really felt like that for me, which is why I think my sleep schedule would get out of hand so often also. Because like, I feel like I don't have any like moral, uh, not moral tie, but just like, I don't think I have a functioning like circadian rhythm in terms of like energy and happiness and because I kind of I feel the same as when I was waking up at like 9 p.m. You know, it's just different looking outside. I am ESD. Although, I don't know. kind of have a circadian rhythm in that like if I don't sleep for enough hours I feel tired you know what I mean which some people I know aren't even like aren't even like that but I need to sleep you know what I mean if I don't get like if I don't get seven hours of sleep it's bad right it's gonna be bad so at least that part of the system is intact No, you're like, um, you guys know, uh, Z Diamond Splash? Oh, what is that emote? That's not real. Oh, there's spiders! I couldn't see the legs! <laughs> That's funny. And the, uh, to me, they just look like these, like, purple, like, raindrops. I was like, those are not real. <laughs> what, 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 I, I, I was... I was tweaking out over the, the purple raindrop. What's up? Thank you for the raid. That was a crazy run. For multiple reasons. I really do blame the spider because it brought you out of the zone. I'd blame the spider. I'd be blaming the spider all day, bro. I'd still be blaming the spider like tomorrow. Randomly mid-sentence talking about that damn spider, you know what I mean? Parroted smots to I don't know where in I don't know what it's called. Aren't there like different? I just called it all final goodbye, but it wasn't there. Isn't there like multiple checkpoints in there or something? I actually for like never like learned <laughs> the names for those. Because they all just kind of blend together. Yeah. Do you know the names of them? Because I actually like, I know like every other checkpoint name. Except for those three. There are separate golden free checkpoint now. What? Boo! Do it real. Monica has a habit of just like, you know what I mean. Monica's gotta go a little bit tougher on him. That was so late, bro. But in no return, absolute certainty, bottomless. Oh, those are the names. I haven't heard those names in a long time. Here, how about this? I'll get back into 90 Platinum and then I'll get it and then we can death link it. New video. Just a short little video. That'll be easy. Discord just added polls to Discord. That's pretty exciting. As a troll option. Yeah, we can do it pretty easily. I mean, if you think about it, it's easier because you don't want to die because then you're the one who died. That's why I never died playing Future Funk. Because <laughs> I was, I refuse to be the one. Anyone but me. So I just won't die to this click, so I won't die to the next click. So you just, you, you like, hyper-focus every input so you're not the one that dies. Oh, I already got a, I got the segment goals a long time ago, and I did dedication to 
impression. I know 90, although I think one of the reasons why I'm, I was never that good of a Celeste player is because like some of the strats that you came up with, like I would never even like start to think about ever. I wouldn't even begin to think about that. I'd just be like, oh, it's a hard input. Oh, there's no way around it. Oh no. I know I'm not missing really obvious setups for this, but I doubt it because you can run and jump. Mendo, Mendo, Mendro Terry, thank you for the sub. Yeah, the, the view count on the Discord bot got reset. No, I got to flag 14 to 70 golden and then 90 got updated and I wanted to grind that, so I did. That's what I did on my 90 playing. And I don't think I'm ever gonna go back to 70 just because it's been so long now and I don't want to. If I ever went for anything again in Celeste, it would probably be like 71D, if I'm being completely honest. Like the old one, not the easy one. Outside of that, I don't think there's anything that's really catching my interest. Because that's like, that's the kind of map I like. That's the kind of map that I'm good at. Yeah, such a good map. Just in general, I really enjoyed playing it through the first time. Seven Prologue Golden would also be sick. I'm not completely done with regular G, you know? No, because I, I haven't actually played Grandmaster Master Artist yet, so I haven't watched it because I don't want to spoil myself. <laughs> the problem is, I tried playing like Vivid Abyss to see if I wanted to get it golden. And I could do all the checkpoints, but like, I just wasn't having any fun, so I stopped playing. I think that's my, like, that's the problem, right? Like, I think I can probably do hard stuff, right? But it's not enjoyable anymore. Like, the text and stuff. It's not for me, I don't think. It's so, like, you just do these inputs and then it's over. I need that precision for as much as Celeste can provide. Which, I mean, Vivid Abyss is precise, but, like, it's precise in, like, the inputs and not, like, the, like, the, uh, input speed, I guess, is the better way to put it. Yeah. <sighs> I don't know. No, I think it would actually be good for GD to, to, for it to remain on 240. Because I think GD is all about being really tough, right? I think that GD having 240 TPS could work. I really do think it could work. Uh, it'd be really tough. But, uh, I don't know. I'm still looking for what I really want, which I don't know what it is that I really want, right? Celeste is good, but I don't like, I don't like the tech spam stuff, right? Uh, fan games are good, but I don't like the frame rate. It messes my eyes. I, it's very noticeable for me, unfortunately. Uh... GD is good, but the acceleration is a little weird. And it always will be, I think. I do have pizza for dinner. You read my mind. I'll get it. Yeah. Even Celeste is a little tough in my eyes. That's just the, that's just what fan games are. And by the way, it was totally the heat. I'm gaining full control over my hands again. I just needed to not have my room so hot. Lesson learned. Crap. I need water. I need water. 
I'm getting water. Oh, it's so cloudy. Why? I need the clouds to go away now, bro. What does the weather say on this? Ugh. Cloudy all day long. God. Life is just cruel, isn't it? Things happen. Mm -hmm. Still playing like horror game Trackmania? Yeah, occasionally. When I'm in the mood. I know what's with the the clouds, man. It's so cruel. I could lift it. Yeah, every 380 years there's clouds in the way. That's crazy. I think the government should get rid of the clouds. If there was ever a time to like whip out some like secret project that gets rid of all the clouds, now's the time. I'm already I'm already in the path of totality, but it doesn't matter because it's clouds. Because no 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 no. I bet that I bet there's not a way to avoid the clouds either. There's really not a lot going on in Youngstown. I know, because that's where my, my grandma lived for a million years. I've been there many, many times. I know all about it. Crap. I lose. Asteroid Utopia, Asteroid by a million. Not even a, not even a competition. <laughs> For Odeo, yeah, secret third answer. It goes Rodeo, Asheroll, Utopia. Utopia is too close to like corporate slop for me. Not that it doesn't have some good moments. And I don't even really know what I mean by that, but like, oh, I don't know. Rodeo definitely felt the most real though. No, I think I'm not getting into it. I've been into it for like a million years now. I I think people think that because the one time I was talking about someone blaring rap music while I was trying to take a dump, but that was just because I was trying to take a dump. I can't like, I can't do it if music is blaring of any kind really, but it made me mad. as just specifically the music that was playing.
Yeah, it was like when I was like a kid, I didn't like rap. Like low key before I ever started making content at all. And that wasn't even, that was only because I just really hadn't heard. I didn't have Spotify yet. So I could only hear like garbage rap. You know what I mean? I just didn't even know. I didn't, I didn't have the experience to know. Um, I mean, I think it comes down to, I think I listen to Good Kid, Mad City more casually, but I have talked about this before. I was on a drive, uh, back up from Maryland with like four people in the car and we listened to, we listened to T-Pab and God, it's just so, there's so much to it. You know what I mean? I feel like everyone says that, but it really, it's just a really powerful piece of media, man. I guess it makes sense why Gibson doesn't give you. I think Prime should still give you points, though, in my professional opinion. But I get it if it was like there was just one guy that gifted you like a million because like money laundering your way to like. But Prime, come on, bro. I don't know. Kendrick's low key a genius. I think. I mean, I guess I don't. I guess I can say that for certain because I don't know like how much would he actually writes, but I imagine it's a good bit of it. And he's just so good with words. You know what I mean? Like he's so good at conveying what he wants to convey in like not like the most obvious way possible. And sometimes when he really wants to like be to like get a point across in like a really like direct and blunt way, he will be as like direct as possible. I guess that's just kind of saying the same thing again. But you know what I mean? Like, he uses that sort of stuff very well, in my opinion. I think it's one of the reasons why he's so good. I didn't even know that was a thing. I, I'm gonna have to try that. I didn't even know. And I mean, I know everyone Let's talk about this with Kendrick before, but he's really not like in it for the, like he never really talked about like, he's not really like flexing a lot, you know what I mean? Or like, sometimes he will, but it's not like the point, he's not, it's not like why he's making the music, you know what I mean? Which I think is just another reason why he's kind of in a class of his own, you know what I mean? Like he's not making, he's just making it because he wants to make it, he wants to tell, he wants to do something with it, you know? Keep on thinking of the sub. It's true. I feel like I could like low-key win the chess world championship. I'll just get lucky. Is, have you ever heard of beginner's luck before? I just need to use it at the championship. And it's easy. Cause then I'll be a, I'll be a beginner and I'll be lucky. That's literally why they made that turn. I don't think you guys understand. Every move I'd play, there'd be like commentators going, oh, and then there'd be like two exclamation marks on my move every time. Just by sheer chance. He saw a queen sacrifice from 25 moves away. Void, I'll think of it this up. I 
Magnus would destroy me. Well, he's not interested in playing in the championship, so he wouldn't destroy me. I feel like chess is too easy for me, honestly, because it's like you just move the pieces around. How many times can you really do it until you know everything about it? How many combinations is there? What, 64 times 64, right? It's like, you know, it's a board, 2D, it's a two dimensions, so easy, man. I've like never actually played him. I'd be really bad at it though. It's the problem. Because I lack ability to see. I I have a lot of problems that make me really bad at it. First of all, my observational skills are the bottom of the barrel. Like there's no one worse than me at observation because of the way my brain functions. I've said it before, but once I was like looking for my keys and I was literally looking directly at them for like, and I like couldn't like register that they were my keys or something. It was impossible. That happens to me like a lot. I like look at something and I can't register what I'm looking at. So that happens a lot uh, with anything that I have to like observe. Second problem, I would fixate too much on one possibility and not see the full range of possibilities in front of me. If that makes sense. Yeah, this is the best chat of all time. So, it's fair. Your English professor's PC was hacked. That's rough. By like a student, like giving themselves like better grades or what? I mean, I think the chat is the way it is because we we have kind of a no-nonsense policy, which can be kind of rough sometimes, I think. But I think that's just kind of what you gotta do. You know what I mean? We don't tolerate a lot of things in here for the sake of like keeping viewership up or whatever. I mean, the, the benefit of that is chat's really good. The consequence is that the chat's a lot smaller than other occasions, but that's fine. I'd rather a good chat, a good small chat than like a bad large chat. I think it's a lot of people that go onto Twitch aren't looking for what we're providing here, right? A lot of, a lot of people get really big because they're like, the way that they, they set up their community is they kind of make it so that, um, a lot of the chat is there kind of in bad faith, you know what I mean? Either making fun of the streamer or like making fun of the people on the stream or blah, blah, blah. That's a big market on Twitch, you know what I mean? That's it. That's in like, that's like when some of the, some of the biggest streamers on the platform are like that and they know that, right? A lot of streamers understand and a lot of streamers think like uh, that they're really smart for this, right? When in reality, just the other people really aren't willing to do it because it's kind of scummy. You know, negativity maybe breeds attention, but at the end of the day, what kind of chat are you left with, right? I don't know. Yeah. What's up, Kara Dreamer? Yeah, I mean, 
That's what a, a lot of people, I feel like a lot of people in the entertainment industry in general kind of have this opinion of like, that they're better than other people because they're willing to do what the others won't, right? But I don't think they see the bigger picture. And I think that mentality is also spread to a lot of people as well. Uh, a lot of people that watch these streams, that money is the only thing that matters, you know what I mean? Meaningful experiences and conversations aren't as important as the blue law. Which is obviously like as wrong as you can get, in my opinion. Right, like, I don't know. Doug Doug is, seems like a really good content creator. I haven't watched too much of him. Maybe I will watch more of him. I watched I watched that one, like, video where he's like, don't break the secret chat rule. He seems to have a really good chat for his size, too. Yeah, I'm really happy for them. I mean, that's what it's all about, right? I don't think I can handle having that many viewers. Or, like, handle is the wrong word. It's, it wouldn't be for me. This is this size is kind of for me. Ultimately. Yeah. Doug Doug just seems like incredibly intelligent also. Like he knows what he wants and he knows how to get it. In a way. Yeah. I think Simple's chat's like probably like three times our size. But it still seems like that's still manageable. How many did I have my peak? Uh, the most viewers I ever got on a stream was when I wanted to try out the roulette idea on Christmas Eve in 2020. I was like, I have this new idea, let me see if people like it. And that stream got 5,000 viewers on YouTube. That's when I realized, what the hell idea did I just come up with? <laughs> like, that's, that's when it hit me like, oh, you did it, Nathan. You have just struck solid gold with, with that right there. That was an interesting event. But that was also YouTube. I got like 2K viewers when I was streaming like the 2.2, uh, like the 2.2, uh, like the sneak peek thing, not the sneak peek, like the, uh, the, the awards or whatever, like the GD10 video. I think I had like 2000 viewers and that's arguably more just because YouTube just has like more, you know what I mean? Yeah, I got a new video, check it out. Yeah, 2.2's little burst period was really short. And it didn't do anything for streaming like I thought it would, a little bit. But I guess that makes sense. A lot of people don't want to watch GD, they don't want to play GD. I'm 
where these burps come from. I just have a lot of acid in my esophagus. So, you know. Yeah, I think we all did. You know. Oh yeah, I got crazy acid reflux. It's so bad. I'm on antacids and it's still... I'm on a PPI as well. It's still a really big issue. Yeah, there's so many. I don't even know if that's true, though. Yo, Jakurb, thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. Well, no, okay, here's the thing. 2.1 wasn't really that popular until, like, years after. Like, when did it really get going? Like, 2020? Yeah, the pandemic burst. And obviously, I was a factor. I'm not going to say I wasn't a factor. Uh, but the pandemic, I think I was just like the spearhead of that whole thing. Yeah. That was like my time. Ever since, like, 2021, I haven't, like, grown or stagnated in terms of, like, how many views my videos get or anything like that, really. Yeah, Pandemic was when a lot of us really got going, you know what I mean? Because that's, like, what else are you going to do, buddy? You know? Go outside? I don't think so. Time to play some video games and talk on Discord for 14 hours a day. And that's exactly what I did. Can I have a good run, please? I would like one. It would be cool. Fuck that stupid job. Whatever. It's fine. It's a good run. I just want a better one. I just want a better one. That's all. Why am I here? I just had to check my body zone. Idiot. You know what? It's fine. It's, ugh. Oh, I was gonna say it's fine because if you just keep getting back, it doesn't matter. Every community got so serious, though, during the pandemic. Like, every community I know got so much, like, further developed in terms of, like, high-level play. Like, it got ridiculous, ridiculously fast. I mean, in 2019, how many, like, people had cleared Gamma? Like, seven or something? <laughs> like, it was not many, and then... Boom! Look at the end of 2021. Look at look what happened after that. The time for playing around was over in that department. Yeah. I think COVID affected me more than the lockdowns did. Like, specifically the, the virus COVID. You know what I mean? It was really, really bad for me. And I think I suffered some permanent damage that I just kind of have to deal with. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, there's just things that were never the same after I got COVID, you know what I mean? Things haven't really tasted the same or smelled the same, the few things that ever get into my nose ever anyway. I, my respiratory system feels weak. You know? And I'm not even like... It's really, it's not something that I really thought about for a while, you know what I mean? If that makes sense. Because it really wasn't understood then that COVID can continue affecting you for long times to come. But I like tried to like look back on my health and like where did it really start getting really bad and what wasn't happening before and it was definitely when I got COVID. Because I was really sick with COVID. Like I was bedridden for like three weeks. And uh, I really think that it got to me. Right. Now give me run. Damn it. <sighs> Not bad. Not bad at all. I mean, I just want, I want it now. You know what I mean? I want the full one. I think this generation is going to be playing video games forever. Uh, at least, I think the the brain, like when you're a certain age, kind of just like decides what you're into, and then it's into that forever. There could be a chance that in like 30 years, people don't even really play video games anymore. And like the stuff that we're playing right now is looked at like, oh, so retro, they're playing video games or something. Yeah, I think people just stop playing competitive video games after a while. Because, you know, you get old. And then you can't really do it anymore. But, like, I think video games are going to be a part of probably all of our lives. Probably forever, to some extent. Casual stuff. Maya, what? Oh. Yeah, especially as video games, like... Stuff like Amori, right? That's something I'd play at any age, right? That's just that's just like media to consume, you know. The meme god of memes, thank you for the sub. I think what's gonna happen is a lot of people are gonna get really, really busy, right, with life. But then I think once they stop being busy, a lot of them are gonna be like, ah, you know what I miss? I miss playing games, and then they'll play games again. They'll be like, This is awesome! I remember this. And then when they have more time as they get older, they'll probably play more. I think that's the path this kind of goes down. But I don't think that people will be playing video games the way that we play them forever. I mean, if you want a kind of a bleak prediction, I think that games are almost all going to be microtransactional games that usually don't require much skill in the future, maybe. Stuff like gotcha games, I think those are going to be some of like the biggest ones in the next few decades. And actual skill base you need a lot of patience to play them games are going to kind of be less prevalent in the in the years to come you already i mean we're already kind of seeing it we're already kind of seeing it. If, if, if you want to be completely honest uh most of the super hard skill based games they're not made by like triple a developers you know what i mean Not that they ever were, but there was, I mean, even if you look back like a decade, like uh, a bunch of like rhythm games, like Guitar Hero and stuff like that, those were like hard games. You know what I mean? Those were actually difficult skill-based. You need this whole thing to do it. Uh, and those were made by like, you know, companies.
Right, skill skill based games aren't gonna bring up bring enough like as as much profit. Uh, but I think this genre will never truly die. I think indie games will always be coming out that will appease. I mean, Celeste is a recent game. That's a that's a, a recent thing that happened, right? And there will always be a market for that for our kind of people. Right. Yeah, what we do is kind of, I mean, if you think about it, like, there's not a lot of, like, people that go for these longer deathless grinds. You can't, it's hard to think of a lot, many of them that are really popular on Twitch, you know what I mean? Or, like, popular on YouTube or anything like that. There's a few examples, but they almost all have to do with speedrunning. Almost always, right? Even, like, Trackmania, I'd say Trackmania is one of the more popular difficult games, right? But even then, that's speedrunning, you know, that's get the fastest time uh specifically the kind of stuff that we do these like longer like maybe deathless skill based grinds there's not a lot of them gd is probably the biggest i would say probably the biggest example uh that i can really think of of that kind of game right And even then, GD does not bring in that many viewers uh, in terms of streaming. Mario Maker probably brings in more. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Mario Maker content most of the time casual. But I mean, I've seen I've seen people streaming like uh, really hard stuff, for, like a good 500 viewers sometimes. It's not common. I would say, yeah, sometimes that happens, yeah. But it's interesting. Uh, I think the style, I would, I would honestly argue that me and Parrot probably have some of the biggest audiences for, that's probably also a, a good reason for a lot of the overlap between our communities. There's not a lot of people doing this. And we might be some of the bigger examples of it. Yeah, GD is kind of the avid center for people who do this. Although Celeste is really coming into its own, too. Although, I don't, I don't know how much I like the direction Celeste is headed in terms of hard maps, but that's a discussion for another day. Yeah, I think, well, I think honestly, just playing something that's really hard doesn't give you that many viewers, as my my prediction on it. So you kind of also have to be a person on top of it. Or like, because we we have like actual like communities, but like, like sometimes people will stream really hard stuff and they get a bunch of viewers, but then they stream anything else and it doesn't work out. Zoink does get a decent amount of viewers, yeah. Right. Yeah, because Zoink hasn't really built a community. Because I mean, I mean that something like that also just takes hard work. You know what I mean? It's not. You got to be doing it for such a long time in order to really build a community. And a lot of people aren't really willing to take that step. Also, because there's really not a lot of money in it, right? If you're looking to be a streamer and you care about the money, right? You're not going to spend the years building a community around something that very few people in the grand scheme of everything really care about. You know what I mean? You're not going to... Yeah, so much effort for so little. You can only really do it if you're really passionate about it. If it's something that you really care about. And so then that, that's the first barrier to entry, right? And the second barrier to entry is not everyone who does stuff like this has a personality that works well for streaming. So there's another big, you know, choke on that. And then you're whittling down the list of people 
to a very, very, very few, you know? So I guess it makes sense that there's not that many of us, if you really think about it. I wouldn't say video games themselves are niche, really. It's not right now. But the kinds of video games we do play are. They did used to be. A lot of it's also kind of for my, like, I wouldn't say my own ego, but, like, if I'm making content, I can justify, like, making enough money from it, I can justify continuing to do it. Because the thing is, I'm not done yet. You know what I mean? I'm simply not done yet. There's more to do. And until I've done everything I want to do... I want to push for it. That's why I think it'd be so, a lot of people have suggested that I become a variety streamer, but like, I need this specifically, right? I can stream other stuff and it's fun and I have a pretty good time with it, right? But it's not what I really am after here. I'm after this. This is what I want. Yeah. I mean, I just, need, I just need to relegate uh, YouTube stuff to more people that aren't me, I think, is my solution to that, because, like, I don't have the drive, really, to make YouTube videos. I, I have the drive to stream. I'm the same way. Like, I'm a streamer, you know? This is what I do. I don't know. I don't know when I'll be done, but when I decide I am, that's probably when I'll stop streaming consistently, I'd imagine. But I, <laughs> when will I be, there's always more to do, right? When will I ever be like, and that's it. I've done it all. That's probably never going to happen. I, 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 I can't imagine just one day deciding that there's nothing more that I want.
Sí, pero... I also forget I'm a big shimmer a lot of the time. Or like that that I'm me, I guess. Who knows why? You think I mean I would be doing it long enough to recognize it. Like I'll be recognized somewhere and I'll be like, how could you possibly know me? And then I'll be like, wait. But I have to like really think about it to get there. I know there's nothing in your <laughs> I told you. <laughs> I warned you about that. Yeah. It's alright, you can go to like handles. It's a pretty good ice cream. Right. I mean, even then, it's just like numbers on a screen when I like w watch like views go up, right? I don't have like any attachment. It doesn't have like any attachment to like my self worth, I guess. Like, it's hard for me to like sit there and be like, yeah, that's like 13,000 people that have clicked on that video, right? There's no like way to do that. I remember, I, I distinctly remember, like, I, I, just, I just don't think the brain's equipped to handle it well. Or, like, it's not, there's not, like, a way. Right? Like, so there's 300 people. I remember I was specifically walking around a, 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 a track, right? I, don't, I think it was, like, a fire drill or something. I don't know. But there was 300 people walking on the track. And this was in 2020. And I was, like, looking at it. And I was, like, this is 300 people, Right? But it, like, even then, looking at 300 people, I couldn't conceptualize, that's what this number is, you know? This is what this looks like in reality. It's just weird. It's bizarre. I, I just don't think the brain... I mean, I think the brain can, like, process things up to a certain amount, but then above that, it just kind of... Yeah, and what do you do if you have, like, thousands of viewers, you know what I mean? I don't know. That's why I never- I was never really bothered with my viewer count being low, alright? The only time I would ever be bothered by my viewer count being low is if, like, it didn't make sense to me why it was low, like... But for the most part, like even if I have like 25 viewers, that's like 25 people watching me do something. Like that's crazy to me. Does it? Is that what's going on in Dunkstown? Right, like that's cr like, yeah, if you could actually see 25 like PFPs yeah, it's just about, it's just like how you frame it. It's just entirely about how you frame it. You know? Astral Knight, thank you for the sub. It's very, very bizarre. Well, I appreciate it. You're doing you're doing a lot. I think I think today has been really good for the sub goal. Yeah, I I think I've been to Mosquito Creek Lake, but it was like covered in goose crap the last time I saw it. I think I might do a sub goal thing. I kind of I like I want to play around with the idea of doing a subathon, but like I would have to like be able to cancel it, which is like so lame. But I need like a medical timeout or something. I mean, okay. Worst comes to worst, I could probably make a system where I can press like a button that's like a medical timeout button and it just pauses the timer. And then when I feel good enough to continue streaming, I can come back. I doubt anyone's really gonna care. But I wanna I wanna get this off my plate first, because then this would be Dealing with this and then, well, okay. 
I'll consider something like that after surgery on May 2nd. How about that? That's that's what I will say. Like, any, like, thought process about... Let me, let me handle the surgery first, and then... Yeah. Let me handle the surgery first, and then we, then we can kind of... Go about, uh... Yeah, I'll just do it myself. Yeah, just my nose surgery. It's chill. It's just to get my deviated septum fixed, which should theoretically open up some of my uh, needle passageways, which would be nice. I could breathe at night then, probably. Although I definitely want to upload more. That's something that I know. Yeah, I, I'm so like unbothered by getting surgery to my nose. Like it's fine. I don't I don't even know the worst thing that can happen to me. Probably nothing. Like I guess they could mess it up and then they probably have to do like another surgery, but it's like my nose. Like what's the worst that could happen, really? It's not like we're doing brain surgery here. That also, like, froze my screen for about, like, five seconds. <laughs> yeah, I had the same thing happen. Yeah. I guess if they really mess it up, I can get like meningitis and then they have to. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Okay, but then I get paid like a million dollars. Like there's no way I don't get like heavily compensated for that. I don't know. I think it was on like the thing I signed that it could happen, but the guy was like, I've done this thousands of times. That's never even come close to happening. But it's good enough proof for me. I don't, I don't bother myself with extremely unlikely events that won't happen. Because if they do happen, it's not like I was, that should have like been my first thought that they're gonna happen. It's like getting on an airplane. Like you're probably not gonna randomly crash or whatever. It won't. It won't fix all my problems, and I've already accepted that. It just can't. That's the last song in the thing. Forest Path. now what are you guys even talking about there's something on my screen i wake up in my oh epic games one of my attention well it failed because i didn't see it yeah Matt, i wake up in an entirely different body and like they're like welcome to your 2585 I'd be like, all right, what's going on now? What if I'm all my thoughts about a new body? Like, how old is this body? Yeah, no, my first thoughts is Delta Root out. And then be like, the first person ever woke up from cryo sleep. We need to we need to see if we can answer his request. And like like historians are like Delta Root. I think I think I've read about this somewhere before. And they have to like go on this like epic quest to find like this dusty copy of Delta Root or something. 
on like an ancient computer from like 2485 or something. I said 85 again. That's crazy. Nice random generation brain. That's what keeps me going. The fact that one day we'll play Delta in. That's all that we need to do is just play Delta in. Although, you know what though? If you look up in 2585, you wouldn't even be able to, in English would probably be entirely different. Alco, think of this up. Assuming we're still doing this whole human race thing, right? I'll, everything I say would be old English to them. They wouldn't know what the hell I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah, probably Shakespeare made it modern English. That's <laughs> what we know about him. Yeah, also, the period in which we're changing is so rapid. It would probably remain rapid for the next 400 years or whatever the hell, right? So it'd just be entirely different. For all we know, there could literally be new letters. There's something insane could be going on. So dumb. I am live. <sighs> yeah, I'll try, but I don't even have like anything to like test it out on. Like I don't have anything in normal G to really play. I don't know. That'd be cr that, I, I think about that sort of stuff all the time. I don't know. Yeah. What if they like add new abilities in the brain to like see certain like, to like change the way our qualia works, you know? How old am I? I'm 21. I'm going to be 22 this year. Maybe. Stop. They're telling me. <laughs> you can't be that much younger than me. So... Right, yeah. One, one, three months. Mm, see, that's my age right now, so I don't know. Unsure how I feel about it, Xerix. It's true, no one cares, because 19 and 20 are like the same time. 18, 19, 20, exact same. 21 change, 22 is probably going to be the exact same. I have a feeling 23 is also going to be very similar and then 24 is when it's going to be like, you're 24 now, man. That's different. You're different. How's the sun doing? It's still up. It's not going to start until like 2.30, I thought, or something. Yeah. No, that's actually a lie. You know how we thought that your brain stops filming at 25? Yeah, I read somewhere that that's not true. They just stopped testing people at 25. And then that, that got published everywhere. Like they were just like, and done. No, the clouds are still here. Quality of bowl. <laughs> Yeah. Hmm. 
Yeah. Well, no, a lot of your parts of your brains are done. Oxidot, thank you for the sub, man. Speaking of Eli, who is speaking of Eli? You're speaking of Eli. No, 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 no. He had to go back for medical stuff. He'll probably be back if he can get everything worked out. But that's if he can get all work done. We met, well, I mean, we all met in text discord server. Because he was really big back in the day. And we were all kind of like up and coming players and we wanted to talk to him. Yeah. And there was this like, uh, there was like this voice channel that he would join very often to play in GD and we had joined that a lot. And uh, eventually we were just like, you know what? I don't want to talk to these people. I just want to talk to you, you, and you. Yeah. And then we all kind of agreed and then we we're like, all right, let's just go F off and do it. GC. Just so you know, uh, we never made one, like, permanent GC, like I do with all my friends now. We just literally made a GC every day. I'm not even kidding. Every single day, like, I would ask to call someone, and they'd be like, let's see if what the other, and then, and then other, and then we'd just add four people to the, every day. We probably had, like, 300 group chats of specifically us four. So stupid. I don't know what the hell is wrong with us. Whatever, it doesn't matter. And then, I, well, I met Matt because I was watching... So, okay, the majority of the people that I met, uh, like, that I know really well, I met in 2018 when I was on the demon list. Uh, and I got to know those people well. And then I was added to, like, servers and group chats and what have you, and we talked like, a million times. Uh... Brian fell, falls into that category. Because, I mean, 2018, we were all really, like, involved in the game. And a lot of a lot of the people were just also really good, really, really good players. Um, and so that group of people, I, I, hadn't, I, like, I knew Matt. I didn't, like, know him, though. And we... I was... We were watching a show called Food Wars together. Because someone said it would be really funny. And it was pretty funny admittedly and Matt was playing uh, spring collab expert part side right and I hadn't seen Celeste in two years right and this guy's like doing like reverses and ultras and I'm like what are you doing at all how is this possible I don't even know because I like hadn't seen any of this I was like there's no way you can do any of this behavior and he was like, yeah, it's really easy. You just got to download. You just got to download it. So I was like, okay, I'll do it. And then I started playing through Spring Collab. And then he was like, do you want to do the silvers together? So we started doing the silvers. And then we got, we went, we, and then that's, that's how we got to know each other. Cause we had nothing but time, right? Cause we went from not, we were like, okay at the game to rainbow uh, grandmaster lobby, right? That's a lot of time it takes to do that. And that whole time was us talking in a voice channel. So we kind of speed ran getting to know each other. That's true. You didn't want to do it, but you could have done it. I forgot that. Same with Yoj. I just want a 15 person group chat. That's really all I need, but no. I hope Discord dies and a competitor comes up and they allow 15 person group chat. That's like the only way it's ever gonna happen.
So I was like, oh, I'm not that funny. I don't know. And then he's like consistently saying the funniest possible thing ever when we're playing Celeste. I don't know how he does it. He actually like destroys me. But I mean, I think it's a pretty common thing. Some people just don't think they're funny, but they really are. Every human on Earth group chat. Yeah, you open it and you're like, <laughs> you can read a single word. All in different languages too. Never for a moment would it not be flooded. Yeah. <laughs> Like millions at all times. I don't know if a single interaction between two people would ever happen in that group chat. <laughs> it would crash. I think I have like 60k on this. I don't know. See <laughs> Rex. Well, actually, let's check right now because I gotta go. Because the eclipse is happening pretty much. Oh, I don't. I have like 50k. Or 57k, I should say. Damn, kind of weak sauce. Are you even playing, bro? Like, what is that? All right, I need to go watch the eclipse because. You know. Damn. That. Uploading a video really does get you viewers. What is that about? That's crazy. I didn't even notice that factor of it. Let's go raid someone. Apparently. Anyway, uh, I would say sorry for the short stream, but I don't think it's even really been a short stream. It's like over two hours. It's chill. Ugh. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching, as always, and uh, enjoy the eclipse if it's if you're gonna be uh, if you're gonna be in it. Uh, a lot of you guys have probably already experienced it, probably because it's like down there and it's coming up here or whatever. Uh, but yeah, I'll be live tomorrow. Uh, I didn't even do that bad today. I just couldn't do it really. You know what I mean? But it wasn't. A, it was a pretty average day, I'd say. Made it from, made it to the red pad to the red part twice. Not bad. I just need more. Just need more. Actually, three times. Actually, maybe even four. I don't. I don't know. It's, it's all right. Alright, anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care. See ya.